So welcome back to the channel guys. Um, I hope you guys have had a good year. I hope you enjoyed your Christmas yesterday. Um, hopefully I'm going to put this video out tonight. All this is going to be is a nice little easy one about sort of the issues that my Clear still has, the little nicks, little naps, things like that. And there's also one big issue which I think may make it fail the MOT and the MOT is coming in January. So we need to get those things fixed and get those things sorted. Um, but it'll probably spread over a couple of videos because I need to fix that problem maybe tomorrow or the next day when I can get into the garage. But starting today's video, um, I myself just need to clean the car. It's been neglected throughout the sort of majority of winter so far. Mainly because I don't use the car, so I'm not sat in here so much, but I sat in here yesterday to drive to get Harry on Christmas Day, and I just looked around and thought, oh my God, what, what is my life coming to? So I'm going to give it a clean outside and inside, give it a good hoover, give it a good wipe round. Um, but yeah, it needs a good bit of winter love. So I'll get back to you after that, and we'll go through the issues that we got. So the car is clean. Issue number one is squeaky window. Wanna hear it again? <laughs> I hate it, literally hate it. This window's always had a funny sort of like residue, I don't know really why it is on the inside. You can only just see it, especially when you've cleaned it. Um, Definitely feels like it's on the inside. Don't know what it is. Um, I don't know if I should just change the window in general because of that residue. But the squeaky noise itself, the residue's never really annoyed me, but the squeakiness itself is so annoying. If I wind my window and have a little chat to someone, drive off, I have to wait until no one's around so that I can do it. Back up. Sometimes the squeak is short, sometimes the squeak is long. But squeaky window, really annoying. Doesn't happen all the time, mainly only when it's dry. It gets this uh, old squeak on top. Anybody knows how to fix L squeaker window? Perfect, let me know. So that was number one. Um, number two, moving straight on, is still, I have a clicky door. Um, especially when Emily gets out, because she loves me so much. She just does that every time. And it gets really annoying. Obviously from the video I did, phew, God knows how many months ago, uh, I can't remember who commented, I think it was someone like Mr. Cube, I think it was, his name is, on YouTube. Um, he obviously commented and said it was the door check strap. So, obviously that bit there, on the inside, there's that little sort of plastic bit that wraps around and that's what's making the knocking, because it's not sitting there very well. It keeps dropping in, so that's what makes that horrible noise. I do need to buy a new one, I think they're about £15. Uh, there are second hand for like 10 but I don't understand why you wouldn't pay £5 more to get a new one. So, I need to change that, because that... It's still really annoying. Okay, and last but not least, the beauty. As before, I think it was the first video when I took off the bumper, um, there was an issue with the headlight. I can't remember if I showed it on video, but again, the headlight has broken. All three connections to sort of the car itself are broke, uh, and it's only hold on now by like a little bit of wire up in here, which I'll show you in a minute. Because I think when the, when the mechanic did my camera and everything. I think he lent on the headlight and as it was quite weak anyway, it has now broke again. Uh, so, the headlight can now do this. Proper come out. <laughs> <laughs> but, that's where it is. Which hopefully you also agree is not very good. Um, so, once again, I'm not driving it very much. I've got sort of a zip tie in there, assisted, but it's proper beating up with my real here from where the headlight is rattling around so that is really important and that's what I need to do tomorrow is hopefully try and fix that for now if I want to buy a new headlight I think it's about 50 for another one of these second hand and um, sometimes you can buy this, this sort of a pair together for 70 ideally I was looking for one these obviously got the grey inserts inside the Exxon so I was looking for the ones um, with the black insert but whether I can find some or not is another question obviously I had these all cleaned and sorted so if I can glue it in sort of fix it for now then all good um, but I don't want to drive it too much with the headlight rattling around um, obviously with it like this as well the beam is a little bit lower and I can see it when I'm driving obviously the left hand one is sat how it's supposed to be and has the gap underneath the headlight whereas this one has no gap because it's sat down on the bumper and it affects the beam I did see someone on Facebook the other day as well someone actually got like a fail from an MOT because their beams are too low I don't know if that's a thing I don't do MOTs but 
we want it to pass. So that is one thing I need to fix tomorrow, which means I'm just going to get the bumper off again um, and hope you sort that out. But that'll be another video tomorrow. So that's it really for this quick video. Um, like I said, there's only three little things really. I just wanted to do a little video, to be fair. I just wanted to upload a video um, for you guys, giving a little bit of an update. Once again, I'm not really spending too much money on the car at the moment. I haven't really got any money. I'm in the process at the moment of buying uh, a house, which is really good. Um, obviously that means I'm using all my money for like a deposit and stuff towards the house. So there's a little bit less towards the car, which is a little bit upsetting. Um, but we will proceed. Like I said, there won't be too much bought for the car just yet. Like I said, my long-term plans are to have another car as a daily and turn this one slowly into sort of like a bit more of a track car with like a cage, like a half cage though I think to start with, I think I'm going to go full cage um, and then I can start getting harnesses and things like that and have a, a bit more of a track car look to it, let's say, and start taking it to the track and things like that, I think that's my long-term goal but I don't know how fast it's going to come around because the house is sort of processing now um, so that means I'm sort of saving everything towards that really but when we get in there um, that'll be a big deal to me and then we can start putting sort of more money into the car and saving towards upgrading this as we go and making it look prettier uh, and better hopefully um, but yeah thank you very much again for watching um, I will be posting another video hopefully tomorrow or in the next couple of days because um, I do need to sort that headlight out and hopefully you guys want to see me do that but yeah thanks for tuning in uh, and I'll see you on the next one cheers